I finally got my hands on some navigation. I'm gonna be real with you, I have been trying to get my hands on navigation for months now. It always seemed to me that every time I was looking for new brands to review that I've never reviewed on this channel, navigation was always on the top of my list, but every time I went to actually go purchase, a lot of what I wanted was completely and utterly out of stock. So I would always tell myself, I'll try next launch, next launch, next launch. But finally, oh Lord, finally, the stars aligned for me and it just so happened to be they launched on a day that I had off. <laughs> I was around sitting on my laptop and I got some navigation lights. So what's up guys, how are you doing today? I actually put a drop box in the other day on stories asking you what brands you'd like me to review and I can't even tell you how many navigation requests that I got and it felt really good to me because I had already had it queued up for you. So I bumped that shiz up to the top of my priority list and here we are. So if you guys are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Ashley. I try to review all things activewear fashion. So definitely consider subscribing. We have next up, we have a ton of Gymshark, Pursue, Times Hope Scope, got a ton of requests on that one. More Buff Bunny and popular Instagram brands. So hit that subscribe button and comment down below a brand that you would like to see next. The brand's only been around since 2018. So it is technically relatively a newer Instagram brand owned by Ashley Jordan and I believe her husband, I believe they got married. Seems like they created a really unique in demand type of legging. In fact, all I really see are navigation dupes all over Amazon. So they clearly did something right here. This is why I'm extra excited to try these out. So I snagged two pairs of the navigation leggings. We have the Crimson Contour Seamless. This is their signature legging. I'm sure you see it all over Instagram. Ashley Jordan's rocking the shiz out of these leggings every day. The other one we're looking at is the Sage Scrunch Seamless. Try to say that 10 times fast. Obviously when I saw that she had an actual scrunch bum, I had to get it because if you've been watching me for a while, if done right, scrunch is the best thing since sliced bread for me. In particular, I kind of need that. This brand already emphasizes glutes. That's kind of the way they market themselves. It's very glute focused. I'm not complaining. I don't think anyone else is either. So I'm really excited to see how this scrunch in particular compares to other brands. Say like Alphalete Amplify. I got them on the brain lately. I just did that review. So I might even touch base on similarities and differences. We'll see. My very first impression off the bat, holding these leggings in my hand, they are thicker than I thought they were. I was expecting with how glovey dubby painted on the body they appear on Instagram, I was expecting a very thin material and I am wrong. I'm wrong. Okay. Can't assume nothing. You make an ass out of you and me. Especially the scrunch. This scrunch legging, even the bands, a little bit on the heavy side from what I'm used to and comparing to other brands. You can really just feel the weight of the legging just holding them. Usually the thicker the material, the more squat proof it will be. And given that these are very glute focused, you want to squat in these type of leggings, I have high hopes for them. So the crimson is looking like you have the smiley face under booty contour, movement on the sides of the legs, and an overall morally type of breakup. Absolutely obsessed with the navigation branding on the back of the band, how it's seamlessly sewn in a part of the band and it's not printed. I am now becoming one of those people, all right, that really needs things to be woven in to ensure that I will not be dealing with any peeling in the near future, for God's sake. The scrunch though, let me, mm, let me say something. They added in a little of that extra space right around the glute cheeks so that your glutes actually have room to play. I'm sorry, but sometimes when brands come out with scrunch bums, they fail to add in that a little extra material so that the meat of the cheek can just pop out and not be pressed in because nobody likes that. You want a scrunch bum to emphasize that. You want a scrunch bum to emphasize the glutes and not cram it in and smash it like a pancake. I am noticing that there are, yeah, there's no contouring whatsoever in terms of contour shading. Nothing underneath the glutes, nothing on the sides. It is pretty much a straightforward marl print throughout. That tells me that they have ultra confidence in the scrunch to make it just be its standalone piece here, all right? This is the highlight of the legging, but let's see if it really does what I'm hoping it will do. Okay guys, so um, do you want the good news or the bad news? Which one's first? So I think I'm gonna sandwich this one a little bit. Good, bad, and then good. So first impression, threw them on, they went on 
so effortlessly. Love when I don't have to work for leggings. Really an insane stretch. This is stretch mania. The stretch in these leggings is unreal. Very, very comfortable. Really love how I can feel the bit of tummy control going on here. I would give this an overall moderate type of compression. The band feels nice and secure. Overall, I think it's a really beautiful legging. From all the Amazon dupes that I've tried, the smiley face contour was always either up here, all the way down here to the left, right, never sitting perfectly underneath my glutes, but these are as they should. Overall, I still think, even though this is not a scrunch, I think it looks super flattering on the peach. This is the type of material that can ride up the glutes. Like there's enough stretch in here to ride up those glutes a bit and stay put. A couple cons, when trying to ride the material up the Buddha cheeks like so, I'm getting a really mean camel toe here and I'm wearing underwear, I'm doing the right thing here. Now, usually when I work out at the gym, I don't prefer wearing underwear. I like to go commando when working out. However, I do feel like giving an accurate representation to whether it gives you a camel toe or not, you should be wearing the underwear. Because that's what normal people do and it does help to conceal a camel toe. I just feel like it's giving me a little too much of the CT for comfort. I'm seeing a little bit of an extra wrinkliness going here. I definitely think you could size down if they are in between sizes, but I personally think that my true size small is perfect. I wouldn't necessarily want to size down. I also wouldn't want to size down because it's really sheer in the back. Don't know if it's just because this is a lighter color moderate type of lighter color, not even that light, honestly, but it's not squat proof. <laughs> when I'm squatting, you can see a real nice, heavy, dark shadow in between my crack. Speaking of which, I am wearing a very dark printed underwear and you can see it as clear as day. So keep that in mind, not very squat proof and I was expecting it to be, I'm not gonna lie. When squatting, is there any gaping? Let's see, ready? Yeah, so we got a little bit of that, well, actually, a good amount of gate. <laughs> good amount of gate. <laughs> now, obviously, if we're talking pricing at $48 for really beautiful seamless leggings that make the peach look popped up, <laughs> not bad at all, especially because you have leading competitors where you're paying 60, 70, 80, $100 per legging. Seamless will always be, for the most part, more expensive. It's the way that it's made. It costs a lot more money for brands. But I guess with that lower price point, a few flaws here and there might show up, such as the sheerness in the booty department. But if you're not somebody concerned about that, or if you're working upper body, doing a core circuit, things like that, where you don't really mind, then heck yeah. The overall length on my five foot three booty, not bad. It comes to a really comfortable length. And this is the type of material I'm finding that you can shimmy up and down and smooth out. And it works just like the Alpha Lee Amplify does. Even though it's a little bit thicker, it's still very lightweight and breathable, and you can definitely feel the wicking properties. Okay, so here's what I gotta say about the scrunch leggings. Right off the bat, there's a little less stretch than the leggings you just saw. These have a tad bit of a rougher feel. The other ones are a bit softer. I noticed right away when pulling them up, I could feel the scrunch. And by that, I just mean, you know it's there. You can feel that thick, non-stretchy strip of material that is the scrunch. It's slightly distracting. When squatting, you can feel it. Kind of gives that flossy feel. It's also one of those scrunches that are a little bit noticeable. And when I talk about scrunch bums in my other videos, one of the most important aspects of the scrunch bum for me is for it to look like I'm not really wearing a scrunch bum. I like it to look very, very subtle, very natural, like as if my glutes are just, they're just that magnificent that they're just scooping up that material by themselves. But <laughs> in this case, I don't feel like it's totally natural. And again, by all means, guys, I know we have a ton of navigation lovers watching this video. I think they have a lot of pros to their leggings. But these are just my honest opinions, what I prefer. And I know that a ton of work goes into creating anything. So I will never actively talk shit on a brand, but I will take notes and let you guys know things I don't quite prefer in leggings, which very well might work for you. This is just me, my preferences and my body type. 
And with that being said, yeah, these are a bit thicker. I feel like these are gonna be a lot more insulating. So if you're somebody who wants to wear leggings more during the colder months, these might be it. I wouldn't suggest wearing these if you live in a very, very hot area. Or if you plan to really sweat up a storm, I would probably avoid these heavier, thicker leggings. Again, it's still a moderate type of compression. The band feels nice and secure. Length is about the same. I also did see gaping when I squatted. So right here, you can see a bit of that gaping around the band area. These are fully squat proof. So I don't know if it's the scrunch bum that's taking away from the sheerness, but overall these are much thicker. So I think if your main concern is squat proof, then totally opt for these. It's a baby camel toe, depending on how I'm standing, my, my stances, but Overall, it's pretty decent in the camel toe department, that dreaded CT, you know what I mean? If you're somebody who's interested in scrunch bump leggings, chances are you're interested in knowing more about how these navigation scrunch bump leggings compare to the Alpha Elite Amplify. And if you've been watching my channel, you would know how I feel about those amplifiers. So let's do a real brief comparison just to say we've compared them. Okay, just did this try on haul review. So I'll link this video down below in case you're interested. First and foremost, Amplify is a stretchy beast. These have a little more, like I said, restriction, not so stretchy. Amplify is also a trillion times thinner. Some of you have complained about its thinness. Other people really love the thinness on the Amplify. I guess it's all about preference. For example, I noticed myself in these Amplify, because they're so thin, I can see cellulite certain angles right around here. This is where I carry my cellulite. By the way, there's zero shame in that game. Everyone's got cellulite. I got it all over here, girl. It depends on the lighting and angle. It's all good. We're human beings and it's totally natural. So I just had to throw it out there that if you deal with cellulite, so do I. It's all good. I have to give it to Ashley Jordan. She definitely made thick enough leggings where I'm not seeing anything here. These are cellulite friendly, I would say. There's also a lot more thickness in the navigation band, so keep that in mind. This is a little more tummy control than the Amplify. These are also a ton softer than these, which have almost a bit of a scratchy feel to them. The biggest difference of them all in my eyes is the actual scrunch. Navigation, you can clear as day see the scrunch strip. It is not stretchy whatsoever. It's almost like a patch. It's giving me a little bit of the wrinkly butthole look. <laughs> I can't say that without laughing, I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys turned me on to that, by the way. Yeah, so it gives the butthole effect. <laughs> Whereas the Amplify scrunch is a lot more delicate, smaller overall, the way that it sits when you wear it just spreads the part thin and doesn't bunch up like the navigation. So a lot more natural of a scrunch, a lot more comfortable of a scrunch too. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even feel this. It doesn't ride up my glutes. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a thong. It feels like I'm wearing nothing. They're both size small, both true to size, but let's also not get it twisted here. The amplifiers are, what, $72? Where these are 48. So keep that in mind. If you're, if you're somebody who's on a budget, these very well might just work for you. And this might just be all you need. But if you're somebody who's ultra picky like me, you need ultra lightweight breathability, say you sweat it up a lot, you just prefer a thinner feel or a more natural scrunch, then that's what's gonna justify the extra, what, 25 bucks? I know a huge critique of scrunch bums in general are the actual scrunch snapping when you're in a squat. If you have very large glutes, again, my glutes, they're a little below average. <laughs> but if you have really massive glutes, this is the type of scrunch where it's so stiff that I do believe over time, you bless with the big glutes, this could snap. I'm just saying, I don't know if it will, but I feel like it's got the potential to. Whereas, again, the Amplify has a ton more stretch right there on the glutes. I don't think, I don't believe that this has a chance of snapping. I've worn them a ton of times. I have no issues. I don't even feel like it's there. So let me know. If you have experience with navigation, what are your thoughts? Have you tried the scrunch bump? Did it hold up for you? Again, this is just my first impression. So for all I know, this could last like 10 years. So yeah, I guess it's just a matter of preference, what you prefer to spend your money on, how much you're looking to spend on leggings. So my overall honest thoughts of navigation, the leggings are okay. 
I do love that they're very straightforward pieces, very monotone, you can mix and match, and they're very versatile like that. So I do appreciate how straightforward they are in that department. Overall, I think for the price of $48, they're not horrible. If these were the price of, say, the Amplify at $72, or even Gymshark at $60, $65, then I would have a little bit of an issue spending that kind of money, but because it's still technically under $50 for seamless leggings, I gotta give them that much. I do have to give them credit for not overmarking up these leggings. So yeah guys, overall, I would be very much down for trying the rest of their leggings. Now I'm interested, now I wanna try them all. So if you have any suggestions on which collection of theirs I should try next, comment down below. Is there one that you prefer? Do you have a favorite? Tell me why and what your thoughts are. All right, guys, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We have some dope brands coming up next. We got that Pursue Times Hope Scope coming, new Gymshark, Buff Money, and a lot more that you don't want to miss. So hit that subscribe button. Follow your girl on TikTok and Instagram to keep up with all that good stuff because together we got this. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video.